All right, I've come to the beautiful city of Belgrade. Yeah, baby, that's Serbia. Right in the heart of the once upon a time Yugoslavia. I've made this journey to the Balkans to come check out the most violent rivalry in sports. Now while I'm here, of course I'm gonna enjoy everything they have to drink. And I'll dabble in some local cuisine. But don't get it twisted, I'm here for one reason only. The derby between Red Star and Partizan. Full disclosure, I have zero interest in this match. I'm not sure if this makes me a bad person or whatever, but I am strictly here to see some football hooligans go at it. <laughs> uh, so what? I enjoy a good knockout or two, and there is not a better match to witness if that's what you're hoping for, so I'm told. I don't know if this is really the most violent rivalry in sports, but I'm going to find out. All right, what do you guys say we start out with some Serbian food in restaurant etiquette? I hope you like meat, because that's what's on the menu in Serbia. Don't ask me what these people are doing, I have no idea. But I do know that the predominant religion in Serbia is Orthodox Christian, so it might have something to do with that. I don't know. Alright, this is a uh, Serbian breakfast. This thing's a little donut. There's a hot dog there, some eggs. What's that? What is it? It's like fried dough, but it's savory. It's not a donut. Okay, oh. <laughs> but looks delicious. Yeah. And what is it? What is this stuff? Uh, what? Uh, got a hot dog. This is kulen. That's like a spicy, spicy pepperoni. Something okay. like a pepperoni, but spicy. This is pechenica. That is pork, uh, pork smoked meat. Uh, this is suvi vrat, that is like uh, really, really salty pork uh, smoked meat. And this is ivor, that is spread from roasted paprika, and this is kaimak, the best thing in the world. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Kaimak is like uh, fat from milk. When you cook it, you collect the fat that is okay. on the top, and you ferment it and put salt in it, and it's like. And what is this? Nice. That is like a hot dog. A hot dog. Yeah. Looks delicious. Thank you. I just tried to play pay my card and they said, oh no, 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 no. It is too late. Don, you cannot you not pay my card here. It's a big you deal. You can pay by card, but you have to let them know ahead of time or else they'll look at you like you're some sort of asshole. Yes. And also you use like, too big a banknotes? Too big a banknotes? No. That's no. a hat that's a problem. And splitting up a check, oh my god. They'll they'll uh, throw you out. Don't you dare ask to split up the check. And paying, splitting by cash and card. No, 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 not, not gonna buy that. <laughs> not in Serbia. Not in Serbia. Look at this. That's actually underwear hanging up at this restaurant. It was nine dollars. I didn't, I didn't expect to get a slab of meat. <laughs> slab of meat. Yes. <laughs> what? What am I going to do with this thing? Look at this shit. Detroit pizza. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try the Detroit pizza. Alright, being from Detroit, I had to give the Serbian Detroit pizza a shot. <laughs> Pretty good. Now, I am not hard to impress with pizza after drinking all night long. It's horrible. It is horrible. Not good. Not good. Not Detroit pizza. So the meat here in Serbia is incredible, but the Detroit pizza sucks. It looks like we got another parade here. A lot of parades in Serbia. We're here for the football match, so what exactly is this rivalry? All right. What is the Red Star versus... Part is, yeah, partisan. It's a rivalry that has been going on for, for eternity, basically, in Belgrade and Serbia. The main thing to point out is that both of those teams are located in the capital city, Belgrade, mm -hmm. where we are right now. And both of those teams have a massive following. Yes. Hooligans. 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 I met them. My yeah. friends. <laughs> yeah. And, I went to the game. Yeah, and they're always making riots and everything. It has a reputation for most violent rivalry. Most, one of the most, it's similar like in Greece. Olympiakos versus Pauk, if you know. Okay, yes. And so on. And basically, there was a derby going on 
two days ago. Yes. Right? I you went were to there. It. I went you to were it. There. The result was 1-1. One, one. Yes. Tie. Yeah. But yesterday, a lot of them got arrested, huh? They Whenever the there's a derby going on yeah. in Belgrade, the city will be filled with cops. Yes. Everywhere. They're everywhere. And the gendarmeria. Yesterday, I heard 79 got arrested. It's common. <laughs> it's like good morning. Good morning. Yeah. It's like that. Cool. And in the last couple of years, I would say Red Star was the one. Uh, the best? Was, was the better one. Better one. They also won Champions League. Okay. Like 30 years ago. What about the hooligans? What side's bigger? I was with the Parties. Parties. They were pretty big guys. They were pretty Bo big. Both of them are big. pretty fucking huge, <laughs> honestly. It depends on Kill what... from Serbia are pretty fucking huge. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on what part of the city. Okay. Because Belgrade... There is like uh, it's split. If you're born on this side of Belgrade, you're a Parstesian. Yeah. If you're on this side, you're Red Star, right? Well, yeah, because Belgrade has a few, not capitals, but districts. Okay. You could say, and each district has a history, a reputation. One follows this, one follows ah, this. Gotcha. You know. Yes. And yeah, that's basically all I, could, all I could say. In the last couple of years, uh, we started Are import. You Red Star or. I'm Partizan. a grober, Partisan. 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 Yeah, yeah. Baby. I was, I was on the Partisan shine, yes. Yeah, and both of the sides, you asked about the sides. Both of the sides are pretty big, honestly. They're big, they're big. Yeah, I would say Partisan is the cooler one. Yeah. And yeah, it's all, uh, the rival is uh, in basketball as well. Okay. It doesn't matter what sport, there will always be riots and everything, but in football, it's the biggest one. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right, all this talk made me thirsty. Let's see what they have to drink around here. So what is what is this we're about to drink? Um, this is Rakia, right? Yes, this is mom. And you asked us if we want the strong one or the sweet one. So you have many flavors of it. Yes. And so this is equivalent to about $2. What flavors do you have? Uh, apricot, quiz, honey, plum, juniper, and raspberry. Ooh. And, uh, mint. and this is Serbia's national drink. How strong is this stuff? Uh, about 45%. Ooh, 90 proof. A strong drink and a strong soda. All right. Oh, no, no. You got Leonardo <laughs> Gabriel. Forgive, forgive Gabriel's manners. Can I buy, can I buy you a shot? Will you take one with us? Okay, fun time. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Not this stuff, why not? No, this is about uh, 40, 40%. I like okay. That. That's good. water, that's water. <laughs> Let me, let me I'm smell not it. stupid, let me yeah. No, it's not water. All right, good. <laughs> Uzdravia. All right, go to Serbia, eat the meat, drink rakia. If you want to go out at night, they got a great nightlife. Right on the river here, you have the boat parties. It's basically an all night dance party right on the boat. A lot of locals were giving me a heads up about going to the football match, telling me to be careful. They might not like me there. I'd ask any specific reason why they wouldn't like me. Say yes, NATO. In 1999, Serbia was bombed by NATO over the course of 78 days. Targets that were bombed were bridges, factories, power stations, telecommunications facilities, headquarters of defense, the TV tower, the Chinese embassy in Belgrade was even bombed. Apparently that was an accident. This is an old footage what I'm showing you. This is what it looks like today. They haven't restored anything. Now is that because of financial reasons? Probably not. I think it's more of a message and a reminder to the Serbian people that walk past us every single day. Hey, don't forget what these assholes did to us. The former Yugoslavia was made up of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Slovenia, and Serbia. Think about when somebody breaks up in a romantic relationship or marriage. I mean, it's ugly. When countries do this, it can get uglier and even more messy. Think about it. You have land resources, production, religious sites, and of course you have your pride. After Yugoslavia broke up, Serbia went to war with Slovenia, then Croatia, then Bosnia, then Kosovo. The only one that didn't go to war with was Montenegro. So why did NATO bomb Serbia? You know, a history book isn't like the Bible or the Quran. You can give someone the Bible or the Quran, and it's going to be the exact same. You can't give someone the history book. I mean, everyone's got their own version of it. The history books that I read are going to say things got a little out of hand in Kosovo with the raping, ethnic cleansing, crimes against humanity. NATO needed to step in, bomb Serbia to stop this. Serbian history books are going to say, hey, we were at war. We were fighting for our land, our religious sites, and these assholes bombed us. They think they're the world's police. They should mind their own business. So anyway, that's why someone might not want me there, and hey, I get it.
You just said don't it's a partisan, it's football day, the match. You said it's going to be lots of fights? It's going to be lots of fights. Not, maybe not on the stadium, but around it's going to be. Oh, yeah. man. Hot. So this is the most violent football match? Yes, yes. So avoid north and avoid south. Avoid and north keep, and south. Keep, keep, huh? And don't wear black, like yeah, Gabriel. Black. Or red. Or pink. Why not pink? Fine. Yes, there was a gay parade. <laughs> <laughs> well, they beat you up. Yeah, for well, they beat you up if you're in the gay parade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for, sure. Oh, yeah. for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. The bones gonna jump in on him. <laughs> they thought Black. I. Remember, they they thought I was gay in front of me. <laughs> All right, Gabriel and I were advised not to sit with the soccer hooligans, but fuck that. I didn't come all the way here for nothing. I just bought my ticket. Gabriel's chicken out. <laughs> Got my ticket right here, baby. So I went to go buy my ticket, and I asked the guy at the sales, uh, he just goes, where do you want to sit? And I said, it's safe to sit with the fans. Home team goes, that's your choice. <laughs> so I was like, but is it okay? It's like it's up to you. Wouldn't tell me anything. All right, I just told him I'm sitting with the Partesian uh, hooligans. No, they said, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Oh, shit. It's not good to sit where I'm sitting? Well, whatever. You're going to eat it, but I give you my time. Try to find the hooligan Partesians and you'll be safe. Find what? Hooligan, like Partesian hooligans? Yeah. Just hang with them and you will be safe. Join a gang. I'm going to join a gang. Yeah. <laughs> I just showed him my ticket where I'm sitting, and he rolled his eyes. Why? Don't take the camera or my. I give you the gun, bro. I give you the gun. No. But you were just an emergency. Use a gun? <laughs> should I not bring my camera? Yes, yes, Is it? Should I take off my chain? What's the chain? No, but it's not, it's not 1990s that people were robbing That's perfect, that's perfect. You can put it outside. Exactly, <laughs> outside. Don't worry about it. They don't got to tell that you're a Serbian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? You said that is amazing? <laughs> Sit in the that south, baby. Amazing. G-Y-G. Uh, it's better than North. He's you. He's going to Partizan. Uh, yeah, he's going to Partizan. Yeah. He's a Partizan fan. And when I told you, if you go in your west side, west side controlling Partizan. But you go in a heart of Partizan. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. You gotta have a ball for that, bro. Come on, man. I wouldn't say I have balls. Maybe I just didn't know what I was doing, huh? Yeah, you're gonna go. Yeah! We are still miles away from the stadium, and there's police everywhere. Riot police everywhere. I 
I just bought 12 beers right outside the stadium. There's no way I'm going this thing sober. I wouldn't say I'm scared, but I'm a little nervous. I mean, everywhere I look, Serbians are huge. Just big, mean-looking dudes, heavy hitters. Not someone you want to get in a fight with. Everyone here just looks like they can kick my ass. I'm a fish out of water here. I'm just gonna stand back and slam some beer. I'm six beers deep, I just shotgun one of the beers, and as I'm putting it down, I notice it says 0.0, .0 on it. I just drank six non-alcoholic beers, I'm completely sober, and I gotta pee. I can't believe no one told me this, but apparently they don't sell alcohol within like two miles of the stadium, because everyone just gets in fights. Looks like I'm not the only one that has to pee. Look at this, to the left, someone just pissing right inside the stadium. You see empty sections all over the stadium, and they do that not because people didn't buy the tickets, they do that so people don't fight. I was getting some strange looks, like, what are you doing here? And whenever I was in doubt, I just stuck up my middle finger and yelled. People would be like, all right, he's one of us. I mean, you flick off the police. You flick off the other team. You flick off the other fans. You just, just flick off people. pretty funny you see the two flares there the rule in the stadium is whenever you're done your flare is starting to go out you throw it at the policeman I'm not joking All right, want to see how mental people get when they score? Sun, 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 sun. The environment was wild. I had a blast. And there was no issues with me sitting with the uh, hooligans. Everyone was cool. 
so to live up to the hype, the most violent rivalry in sports. At one point, for sure it was, but now it's impossible. It's not for a lack of effort. You know, they'll, they'll kill each other, but there's just too many police officers around. The amount of resources they bring in for this game is just insane. Since it's impossible for them to fight the day of the match, everybody just fights the day after. I think the day after over 80 people got arrested and the whole neighborhood was trashed. I didn't know where it is. Ooh, hiding spot. Well, she's said that these hats are the best in the world. <laughs> yes. It's what? Because the hiding spot and the quality? Mm -hmm. When it's so much cold, you put these like this on ears. Ooh. It's good. When you are happy, you take this like this. When I'm drunk. When you are angry, <laughs> when you are angry you put like this. <laughs> <laughs> this little cup, this is a real Serbian way. How you drink this? This way. Without hands, you drink rakia without hands. Put the cup on a, on a, on a table, yeah. rub it with your mouth, pick it up, everything, and put it back up. That, that's a real Serbian way. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're good. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, you're good.